Where's My Water 2 is a difficult game to play. Not because the Earth-filled maps are especially tough to negotiate, or because the physics are broken or unpredictable. No, Where's My Water 2 is a difficult game to play because it doesn't want to be played. At least, not in the manner you or I might be accustomed to. Things start off promisingly. The water funneling gameplay of the original title makes a strong return, along with the revival of shower-loving protagonist Swampy the Alligator. He's joined by DLC buddies Ally and Cranky from the off, each of whom put different demands on the player. While Swampy wants clean water funneled to his shower, Cranky needs icky purple goo to season his dinner. Meanwhile, Ally, the musician of the group, has you directing steam into her pipes so she can play a merry ditty on her pipe organ. Once completed, each level has to be replayed using a different set of rules and goals. Some challenges flip the levels upside down, while others see you having to prevent water from touching any of the collectible ducks. While the variety should be welcome, you can't help but feel that these challenges are largely padding, artificially extending the life of the game by making you repeat levels over and over. However, a little padding is far from Where's My Water 2's worst crime. You see, as this is a freemium release, Disney has decided to include an energy bar, which drains every time you play a level. After around Around nine levels, the game locks you out, displaying a timer which tells you when you can start playing again. Initially, the timer displays two minutes, so you wait two minutes. You play another level. You then find yourself immediately staring at another timer, only this one's counting down from ten minutes. And so it goes. You can pay a dollar to fill the energy bar again. You can even pay $18 to extend the length of the bar. But no matter how much money you throw at it, that bar will never go away. Suddenly, you're focusing less on how best to complete each level, worrying instead about how much energy you have left and whether you can afford to have another go without having to wait half an hour. Because the game is always trying to force its hands into your pockets, it actually makes you wary of firing it up. And even if you have a bottomless wallet, the stingy refills offer terrible value for money. Where's My Water offered hundreds of levels for a buck. It let you play how you wanted, when you wanted, for however long you wanted. Where's My Water 2 lets you play nine levels for a buck, and then tells you to either pay up again or walk away. Our advice? Walk away, and don't look back. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.